Hey guys, how's everybody doing? And welcome back to yet another Joe Muller fast food review. Today, we are going to try out a brand new menu item from Arby's, their A1 steak sandwich. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we are here, we are parked. I've got my bag and I've got my napkins and I've also got some potato cakes and this is what they look like guys check it out I actually got two and I think they cost well I know they cost One dollar and ninety nine cents for two, basically a buck each, guys. I think it was kind of expensive, but hey, what are you gonna do? All right, that's what we're gonna try. In addition, and here is the main event. This is the A one steak sandwich. There it is, guys. All right. And here it is. All right, let's go in for a close-up. All righty, there it is. There is the A1 steak sandwich from Arby's. And there is the cross bun. And there is the A1 sauce. And there is my onion ring. And wow, that is a dense onion ring. Let's go try it out. All right. This smells absolutely fantastic. This is the moment of truth. I am going in right there, guys. Whoops! <laughs> it just fell down. Thank God it fell on my leg. All right, there we go. There it is. Tastes like roast beef. A little bit on the dry side, guys. Wow. I got to tell you, a little dry. All right, here we go. Onion ring blowout. It's really chewy. I do taste the A1 sauce. The bun is nice and soft. I really was expecting a lot more, especially from Arby's. They usually are pretty damn good. All right, so here's my analysis. Number one, the steak, the roast beef, it was nice and warm, although very, very dry and very, very chewy. The onion ring looked like it was, they fried the freaking stuffing out of it. It was very hard, very, very dense. And when I bit into it, as everybody did see, the onion basically came out in its entirety, pretty much spoiling the rest of the meal for me. Now, Arby's. Do us all a favor, go out and do a little bit of homework and really, really see what is being produced by all of these mom and pop or franchise operations that you have out there. There is absolutely no excuse to produce roast beef that is dry. I got to tell you, there's no absolute excuse for that. There needs to be, it needs to be a lot more juicy. The onion ring is a little bit thick. I think it would be a lot better if you used onion strings and sprinkled that. Apparently what's happening is when you take a bite, the whole onion is coming out, thereby spoiling the rest of the sandwich for the consumer. What I would do is I would do onion strings so that you're guaranteed to get a bite of the roast beef, some of the A1 sauce, and then followed up by some of those onion strings, if that is indeed the flavor that you're looking for. Anyway, that is my review. Would I go back and buy it again or eat it again? Absolutely freaking not. On a scale of one to 10, I am going to give this a three. Alrighty, let's go try the potato cakes and hopefully we'll get a better result. Okay guys, here they are. These are the potato cakes. I am gonna go down for one of them, all right.
You know what it is? It basically tastes like the hash browns at McDonald's. Would I get them again? Absolutely not. Don't really enjoy them. I, I re really enjoy their curly fries, so I would go for that next time. Alrighty. Was glad to share it with you guys. Hopefully you guys are a lot smarter now. Do not go out and try the A1 steak sandwich. Stay away from the potato cakes and everybody will be a lot happier. That was my review on a scale of 1 to 10. I am giving this total meal a 3 and I am being very, very generous. I hope you guys enjoyed this review as much as I absolutely loved doing it despite the negative outcome or the bad outcome. Anyway, two thumbs up. Take care. God bless. Please share, like, and subscribe, and I will see everybody really, really soon. So long.